the cards with this man, Mr. Somerset Maximilian Somerset! Yeah. Maximilian, welcome to the show. Good Pleasure to see you again, Pleasure to be sir. here, Mr. Harwood. How do you do? I'm very well, thank you. The Sorcerer himself, everybody. Here he is in the flesh. Now, uh, of course, uh, we've seen you on The Sorcerer's Apprentice. For those that uh, are not too familiar with it, let's talk about The Sorcerer's Apprentice and what exactly it is. Well, The Sorcerer's Apprentice is a magic school for children. They come and we teach them magic over a period of two weeks, and then hopefully one of them becomes my apprentice, The Sorcerer's Apprentice. What a great school! I want to go to your school and get their homework, and let's see a clip of him in action. Not a bad performance at all, Amber. Thank you very much. Thank you. You were not condescending. Your gags got a laugh. You were brilliant. Thank you. Um, I felt that you could have really milked those gags so much more. What do you think, Harry? Well, to be honest, I think I've been all right. I mean, I mean, I forgot to ask for his name, but I think the rest of the trip went really, really well. What did you think of that? I thought it was a bit slow and fast at the same time. Yes, I just said it was kind of slow and slightly stupefying at the same time. Yeah! Very good. So, of course, it is your job to keep the sorcerer trainees in line and to tell them where they're going wrong and everything. But yep. do, you, do you have an opinion overall of their magic ability? Are you impressed with what, with what they can do? When, of course, they first come to the magic school, they need a lot of training, need more detail, discipline. Once they put the dedication in, eventually we really do see amazing changes and I become very impressed. Oh, what magic trick would be more impressive if I did one for you? Would it be if I pulled a rabbit out of a hat or a hair out my nose? <laughs> oh, boy, you get it? I know which one's more painful, of course. I have to apologize. Now, listen, Maximilian, I feel the need to have a magical Maximilian mash-up. Are you up for a bit of mashing, Maxi? Whatever a mashup is, I'm sure I'll up the mash. Barney will explain. I can explain, yes. A mashup is effectively two tricks. Right. Two magic tricks with two separate beautiful assistants. And aren't they beautiful, everybody? Oh, yes. Aren't yeah. they the most gorgeous? Uh, OK, thanks, Bomber. No, it's, it's me and Basil, actually. The right, assistants. OK. Uh, but the idea is for the kids on the couch to vote and tell us which trick you think is the best, OK? Um, so um, what are you looking for in a magic trick, Jack? Flair. I've got flair. OK. Thomas? Showmanship. I've got showmanship. 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 Yeah. Very good. Catherine? Imagination and overacting. Oh. Overacting. Bit Rita Hayworth there. Can we do that? I, don't do I think that. we can try all that. OK, right, I'm first, I think. You're I'm first. The, I'm the first beautiful. Right, well, I thought okay. that since you're first, I'll teach you a little bit of culinary expertise. OK, fine. I'm going to teach you how to make Lapsan Souchon iced tea. Oh, how lovely. Oh, good. Yes. Now, uh, what we've got, with all the ingredients, apparently you've provided them for me. We have, yes. So we've got the Lapsan Souchon tea leaves. Yes. And they, I want you to take them for me and put them into the, the uh, 1940s red teapot. OK. That's it. Lapsan Splendid. Souchon tea leaves. And uh, the... Uh, Ice cubes. Ice cubes. They're yes. in there. Okay, ice cubes. That's it. Put oh. them in. Okay. And the cold water. Right. Splendid. Yes. Lovely. And of course, as with all of these shows, a teaspoon of nutmeg. A teaspoon of nutmeg. Splendid. That's that, stuff that's there, that yeah. one, yeah. Okay, teaspoon. Okay. All the way in it goes. Right. Now we need a tea strainer. Have you got a tea strainer? No. Right. Uh, you'll have to do as a tea strainer. Mr. Harwood, stand over here. You'll do just fine. I'm going to put this contraption around your waist. It's a couple of bits of rope and two blocks of wood. We're going to tie it up tightly, like this. Oh, like good. That. Right. OK, splendid. Now, hopefully we can get the plumbing right on this. Stand about here. I'm going to put a tube in the front, actually. Stand there. OK, stand Tube there. in the front, okay, like this. Should be being beautiful at this point. OK, that's right, yes, yes. Look, look, look beautiful and assistant-like. And a tube at the okay. back. Like this with a funnel. Now, hopefully, if we have got the plumbing right, we should be able to pour the contents of the Lapsan Souchon and all of the stuff there in the back, and it should be able to eventually go through all the way through the body. So well, hold through my belly button. Well, yeah, all the way through from the back to the front. So hold the teacup at the front there, extending your little finger. Thank you very much indeed. Splendid. And hopefully, this should be able to strain through your constitutional structure. So let's have a look. Are we getting strained? Oh, Are we yes, getting strained? Yes, look. Getting strained, Lapsan Souchon at the front? We are. I've gone very We're cold We're getting inside. strained. Goodness gracious me, let's have a look. That's amazing. Oh, my goodness gracious me, you're absolutely right. Let's take this out the back. <laughs> and this one out the front. Ladies and gentlemen, Barney Harmon, the human tea strainer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, Basil. Cheers, well done, Barney, but I think we can do better. I would 